And welcome back to Hannity and Combs. Christian televangelist Bill Keller has been pulled off the air, and he's blaming the Council on American Islamic Relations. Care officials pe petitioned the CBS owned station that airs Keller's program, Live Prayer, and they released the following statement quote, It is our belief that anti Islamic rhetoric like that used in Live Prayer with Bill Keller is exactly the type of language that is likely to incite hate crimes against the American Muslim community. Station officials claim that CARE had nothing to do with Keller's cancellation. Bill Keller joins us now. Mr. Keller, thank you for being with us. Do you have any evidence, in fact, that that's, that's the case, that it's definitely because CARE, the unindicted co-conspirator group in the Texas case, you're saying for sure that's the reason why? Well, all I can tell you is we've been on the air for over four and a half years live every Monday through Friday for an hour on that on that station and uh, I've been basically dealing with the issues of the day false religions like Islam for four and a half years and right. I never had any problems until CARE got involved and if you read their website right. uh, that's all I don't know what other they, proof they, you need they quote a show May 2nd 2007 in which you said uh, Islam is a 1400 year old lie from the pits of hell it's leading billions of pe billions of people to hell those who follow this false religion will die and be lost for all of eternity the false religion of Islam is about hate lies and death now that's your opinion you you agree you said that well, that, uh, I'm an evangelist, Sean. I take a biblical approach to life. No, to I'm, the I'm, world. Not, I'm not here to question and your religious credentials, but, I, you, but you said that on the program. Here's my absolutely, question. Absolutely, because uh, it's true. Okay, so if you express your view. I assume that you're probably buying the time. Absolutely. On the station. Do they Do they have a right, in your view, to determine what they deem to be appropriate content and the shows that they allow to purchase time? As long as I'm not breaking FCC regulations, that's why there's a disclaimer on before my show and after my show that says the views and opinions aren't of the station. They're my yeah. views. All right. What are your plans now? Because the station threw you off. Are you going to try and combat this? Do you plan on well, suing you, the station? Do you feel like your rights have been violated? Do you want to go well, after CARE? You know, Sean, God always has a ram in the bush. Six months ago, I was developing another a morning program on that on a, a competing network in the Tampa market right and that schedule that's scheduled to launch on this coming Monday so we're actually going to do our last program on the CBS station Friday night we start our new program on Monday morning and we're even negotiating for a Let national program this. sure I guess I'm a Christian I have my mm -hmm. Christian faith but I also sure. believe I'm also fairly tolerant of the idea that people believe in whatever they want to believe in absolutely and, uh, but for example, there are people that attack Christian faith all the time. We saw in New sure. York, for example, we had... Look at Bill Maher. You, uh, you, have, you, you, have, you have Bill Maher on this network all the time okay. saying the most disparaging fair. things in the world Absolutely. about Christian. He thought, and he says it on a regular basis. That's a fair Absolutely. point. Or they had elephant dung thrown on the pictures right. of the Virgin Absolutely. Mary, right. taxpayer dollars, Brooklyn Museum, and, and they have crucifix, uh, crucifix right. submerged in urine. All these controversies we've dealt with here. You know, when you Sean, say Islam Sean. is the 1,400-year-old lie from the pits mm -hmm. of hell, right? do you not believe there are any people, Muslims, those of the Islamic faith, that maybe they disagree with you, but right. they're not embracing a religion from the pits of hell. It's what they truly believe. Because I have my differences listen. with the language of the Quran and other things. Right. Right. Sean, listen, here's the bottom line. I'm an evangelist. I lead people to faith in Christ. We've led lots of Muslims to faith in Christ. I'm there to tell the truth. What Basically what CARE wants to do is shut down anybody from telling the truth about the color of the By the way, the CARE takes credit for getting up the air, but the station itself yeah. said that had nothing to do with it. I just want to play for you a little montage, including some of what Sean quoted and a couple of other things you've said on your show. Sure. Islam is a 1,400-year-old lie from the pits of hell. It's leading a billion people to hell. The Koran is a, an absolute mockery. Book of fables and it's a book of lies. Burn the Koran. I'm probably loving people more tonight than you'll love in your entire life. You call that love? Absolutely. I'm telling people the truth. Hey, you know what, Alan? If people don't like your show, guess what? They can change the channel. I understand. If they don't want to watch my program, yeah. they can change yeah, the channel. That That's love. what I was, was that love? Is, Isn't the idea to be inclusive, respect other faiths, 
Isn't that the Christian way? If you don't like some, you know, you don't Alan, have to Alan, demonize Alan, another Alan, friend. Alan, Alan, I'm there to give people the truth. Jesus said, I'm the way, I'm the truth, I'm the life. Nobody comes to the Father but through me. That's what I believe. If people want to believe something different, that's fine. So anybody who doesn't believe what you believe is practicing a false religion, living in hell, going to hell, and their religious books should be burned. Alan, Alan, I take a biblical approach to life in the world. If people want to take another approach, that's fine. I'm there to bring a viewpoint to the airwaves. Why is it that everybody can bring their viewpoint to the airwaves but Christians? Well, first Why of are all, we the ones that have to keep our all over the airwaves? And, and it's not the government. This is not censorship. The government hasn't stopped you. Does a radio or television station have a right to say, as Sean suggested, I don't like what's on this air, even though you are paying for it. I don't Absolutely. want this on my air, so I'm not going to run the show anymore. It, it, it's, if they want to buckle to pressure from groups like CARE, terrorist groups like CARE, who want to silence anybody who takes an opinion they didn't opposing silence to you, theirs, sir. The they're allowed to do that. To take you off the air. They're allowed to do that. All right, Mr. Keller, thank you for being with us. And thank coming you. up next, thank a you, teacher.